you started to do that and, and what it's all been As I didn't <laughs> undress. As you de No, I just really can't breathe when I'm sitting in this. I'm fine with you showing this. It's okay. the reality of wearing a high-waisted skirt. Poor choice, Tommy. For me, Barbies in general were like my first foray into storytelling. I was obsessed as a kid. Obsessed, obsessed. I would give them haircuts. I would make them have sex. I would, like I had like little Barbie families because like I did grow up with Sims, but it was I, I've always preferred things that are tangible. I've always loved photography. I've always loved fashion. I used to steal magazines from borders, and I kind of grew up consuming photography without even knowing what it was. Someone at Paper had asked me to possibly shoot a thing for them because I had done one more docu-style photo series for British Vogue just online. And they were like, oh, these are really cool. Would you ever want to like shoot something for Paper? And I'd met Pete recently this year and we really got to know each other and I sort of fell in love with him as a person. I was like, oh, it'd be really fun to shoot Pete for something. At first I was thinking a lot about drag um, and I had this like concept of Pete as this sort of Staten Island housewife. <laughs> and then interestingly, you know, he was like, yeah, but I don't want to like appropriate drag. And I was like, oh, wow. Okay, cool. You're right. Thank you. <laughs> Somehow we like through riffing on each other, like came to this like Staten Island Ken doll. And then I went home that night and I just like free wrote the story in my head of like, you know, depressed Ken living in Staten Island, like in his childhood room with his like very Staten Island girlfriend. Even like that Aqua song Barbie like immediately went into my head. Thinking about, okay, how is how can we do this in a way that is clear that we're in Barbie world, but it's a bit of an altered Barbie world. Immediately I was like, okay, I need Julia Fox to be Barbie. Like she already had the French manicure. Like she, like, she was already my like perfect vision. I mean, I just knew her as a person and she's, always been so lovely and so sweet and so kind. But she showed up on the day and like really embodied this character. I think like elevated the shoot in a way that I wasn't even anticipating. It's an it's a really unique shoot, I think, for you know an actor and a comedian to do. It's not often the kind of story you're telling editorially with talent like that. He doesn't really like to get his picture taken. He doesn't like to he doesn't do a lot of photo shoots. He doesn't do a lot of press in this way because he's so focused on his own storytelling and his own art making movies and doing comedy. This was the other thing that why Ken came to mind is that similar to a puppet, it's like you kind of get to play with these toys and make them do what you want to do. And to me, I felt like Pete had gone through the ringer of that. And at one point we wanted to have like hands moving his body parts around, but it got too complicated. I don't know, I just, I think he's so talented and so beautiful and like doesn't get the credit for the work that he does. He really takes his craft seriously and he takes his friends seriously and he's a caretaker for people. I love escapism. I love weird storytelling and I love entertainment and I love entertaining. I always say, you know, before I was addicted to drugs and alcohol, I was addicted to fantasy. I did spend a lot of time alone. I spent a lot of time in my room alone. Barbie's played a big part in fantasy for me as a kid. I think Barbie is just so nostalgic and has, like, ever, at least in America, and I grew up in the South, it, it left such an impression on me. For me, it was really the first time I'd ever directed on that scale. So grateful that I got to be there and work with really talented lighting people, really talented photo assistants and editors and set designers, people who had been doing this for way longer than me and being honest and being like, I am very new at this. Basically, you're managing a big team of people at the end of the day. And you're also managing performance in this kind of issue. For me, like a lot of this was evocative of our setting and the story that we were trying to tell of this pained, sort of toxic Barbie and Ken relationship. Can you make this blue behind me into different things? Name some things. Ooh. Uh, Carly Rae Jepsen emotion video. Grease. Take that as you will. The Majestic Diner in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm. I used to go there like every morning before school with my dad. Where else? Space. <laughs>